Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to create an index, an index of your sheets. I know many of you may be saying that you already have an index that's I'm going to show. You already have an index here or even here, but this is uh, an index that you can customize with your design, with your colors, and it's a bit more uh, customizable, let's say. So I'm going to show you how to do this just with formulas and we even going to create a back button so you can go back to your home or your index this is what we're going to do today i hope you like it and if you like the subject please consider going to the patreon page where you can download these and more than 150 templates and ask me anything about them if not just a subscription is more than enough thank you particularly to my patrons and let's begin I almost always begin with an empty sheet, but in this case, I think it's nice to start with a file that has a lot of sheets or tabs. So here I have an inventory file that I've used in a lot of my videos on my recent inventory videos. It has seven tabs. So we can do this in two ways. First, we're going to do the manual way with formulas, so we don't need to do any code. This works really well when you have static sheets. They don't change a lot. You're not going to remove or add new ones. So in a file like this one, where you have your seven, and this is what you're going to have always or almost always, it works really well. Let's begin that way. We're going to add a new sheet. We're going to call this index, but of course you can call it however you want. This also is very useful when you don't have a lot of sheets. Well, seven may be a lot. So when you have three or four, but if you have 20 or 30, I've seen cases like this, this is where maybe a code could work best. So for now, let's do just the first one. Let's do product. Actually, this list, I'm going to hide it. And let's start with the most important ones that maybe in inventory will be this inventory and this dashboard. So let's, let's write them down. So how do we go to a sheet? Actually, the easiest way, and you don't even need to create an index, is just to go here to all sheets, and this is your index. This is already built in sheets but maybe you want to have something a bit more uh, elaborate uh, with better design and more suited for people that are not intermediate or advanced sheet users i know that many people don't know that this menu is for that there is another index here in this box you have an index not only of your sheets but also of your tables so this could also be useful but again not many people know of this so if you came for an index, here's your index and you can leave the video. However, we want to be able to create an inventory, however we want and add the information we want about it. So this is the first thing. The second thing you need to know is that each sheet has an individual ID and you can find this ID in this URL. So the URL of a sheet consists of a root that identifies it as the web page or at the server of Google and the spreadsheet specific server. Then you have the ID of the file that is this one between the D slash and before the slash edit. And finally, you have this GID that represents the ID of the sheet. Okay. So this is important to know because we're going to build are index based on this URL. So when you are standing in this sheet, the URL will be different than when you're standing on this sheet. Okay. So for now, the easiest way is just to copy this. And this is the inventory. We're going to paste it here. And now in dashboard, we're going to do the same thing. Copy it and paste it here. And here you can see an option that could be useful in the future. Okay, so now let's see what this does. If I click on inventory the, or stand on it and then wait for this contextual menu to appear and then go to inventory. Okay, perfect. In the same sheet. Again, in index, we can stand on dashboard and then click on dashboard and it brings me to dashboard immediately. So now you see that this goes to inventory and this goes to dashboard. I could convert this to smart ships, go to smart ship and convert to file ship and then hit this one and select it and convert to file ship. And if you, the link will be the same, inventory and dashboard. However, here it says index in both. So it won't, will look nicer, but this index may be misleading. So this is why I'm not going to do it. What I could do is take advantage of this hyperlink formula we have in sheets. So I could say, 
hyperlink and the first thing hyperlink needs is the URL that is this one okay and then comma and then go with the name that I want so this looks much better maybe I could hide this if I want and just leave this column and very easily I can go to inventory and then very easily go to dashboard and we could repeat the same for the other five sheets what else could I do I could go to a specific cell for example let's say that in my inventory or maybe in my purchases for example I want to go to the last purchase I have or in my products I want to go to the last product in my purchases or in the adjustments or in the sales I want to go to the last let's do this with adjustments I want to go to the last one because maybe I will want to create a new one. okay so how do I do that first let's create the adjustments sheet and here we need to go to adjustments copy this paste it here and drag down our formula and let's see if it works it goes to adjustments perfect you may have noticed that for some reason in these urls it brings it repeats the gid if i remove this first gid nothing will happen and it looks a bit nicer and it will go to the adjustment but there's another catch that maybe you will like is that if you remove this edit text and you go to adjustments it will open a new sheet maybe this is what you want it could be so i'll leave that that tip for you so what i'm going to do now is to go to adjustments but to a specific cell so the first thing i need to do is to go to adjustments go to this 27 cell a27 right click go to view more selections and then go get linked to this cell i'm going to the index and here let's say adjustments so i'm going to delete this one and paste the one i have here that you can see that it adds this ampersand range equals to a27 so if i go here you can see that it goes specifically to a27 and if i would to change this 27 for 20 for example and then click here it goes to a20 okay but what i want this to do is to be dynamic so i want this 20 to change with a formula so i'm going to create a formula here the right side count a go to my adjustments choose the entire column and hit enter and this is my 27 this is so that it will always go to the last row another way of doing this let's delete the adjustments go to adjustments and just select without the header especially if you have tables this will be nice because you will have this adjustments name so you don't have to choose the whole column if you don't want to and if you are starting to work with tables this could be nice let's hit enter and let's add one finally here in adjustments in the url i'm going to remove the 20 i'm going to leave range equals to 8 actually if you want we could also copy this just so you can just copy the the url as you see it in each tab and maybe here we can here this will be called um sheet and here this will be called column in our case this will be a but maybe you want to go to the column b c d or whatever so the url now will be a mix of things the first thing we're going to mix is this url so b5 perfect then we're going to uh, concatenate this with this ampersand range equals two but we can go to the column we just defined it won't always be a so i will close my quotation i'll do ampersand select this a and finally i need my count a formula so command v select this count a however this has a plus one and this may damage the formula so i'm going to put all my count a inside of parentheses up until the plus one so this is 
uh, interpreted as a text and then it will do the concatenation without a problem. Let's hit enter, let's go to adjustments and it will go to 827. If for any reason we remove these five rows, delete the rows and then go again to index, you can see that the formula changed and now we go to 822, always to the last one. You could even just add plus two so it goes always to the new one, however you want. Sometimes it's good for you that it goes to the first row. Sometimes you want to, to go to the last row. This is why it would be nice to be able to put the A. You could even do a conditional that if there's nothing here, you just go to the last one. If not, go to the column and to the last row. Okay, so that's it. Let's do all the other ones. Sales, purchases and products. So it's very easy. Again, you just copy. This is sales. This is purchases. Adjustments, products. That's it. Let's see what happens if I move this, if it has an error or not. No, you just go it does not open the link because there is no uh, range, but it still goes to the preferred sheet. You could, however, put an if so that you don't receive this message. Again, go to products and you will always receive this message. So you, we could do that if column, if C3 is empty. So if C3 equals to empty, then we're going to do the hyperlink the easier hyperlink we have before, remember? So it was hyperlink without all of this, just the B3. And if not, do the complicated one. Now we, we don't have, we are not going to have that message. And the one you need is this. So this is the, the section you want. You could call this uh, config. And we could group this only if you need to change the configuration. And you could even drag down the formula, even have a, a table if you prefer. But for now, we're going to do Control Shift down, Control D, so that you can have however many sheets you want. We're just going to group this one and you have a nice index. You could even remove all of this and put the logo of your company, of your project, whatever, and just do a nicer design. Put images, uh, icons, emojis, whatever you want. One thing I forgot to mention is that even though you should always use these URLs, it's easier to understand, you don't need to use them. If we remove all of this and just leave the GID, let's do it on all of them. It just looks a bit nicer, but it's not that practical in the sense that it's easier to paste just the entire URL. So it looks nicer, but in practical terms, it's sometimes more difficult because you need to know where to cut, what exactly to paste, and you can see that it still works nice. So just a neat trick to know. Finally, the last thing I'm going to do is to put an option, let's say in the case of the dashboard, I'm going to leave the option to return. We could do a back kind of button. So we could, for example, create here. We are going to do the same with it, but for a back text. So let's go to index. Let's copy this. Let's copy the URL. Let's go to this dashboard where I'm going to put it create our hyperlink. It's going to be called, the, the URL will be this one. Let's close the quotation marks, comma, and then in quotations again, let's put back. And now it's very easy to go back to the index and you could copy the same uh, text to any other sheet you may need it. We could also do a bit of a trick to uh, do a, an arrow back so let's say arrow back our code char code so let's try this 
2190. How do we do it? We're going to do this char 2190. It's not that one. 8592. Yes, that's it. So you can copy this char. And there are a lot of characters that may be useful. And here we could, in the back, do char 8592 ampersand and maybe a space and it looks a bit better just a, a simple trick to add a bit of visual imagery to simulate a button and maybe you could even play with the borders and all that okay so this is it a way to do a very simple index we can see and if you like it please please just let me know in the comments if you want to do a more complex version of this we could do one with code that will always update itself if you delete one sheet if you add new sheets it will always go through all the sheets and create the, the index for you so we could do this if you like actually one last thing i want to do is show do not show the grid lines it looks a bit better and then but i'll leave it to you to add better design with the trick i showed you here you could try to use better kind of icons or symbols For example, we could use this one, 10150. Here, let's change the char for 10150. And it looks a bit better and you can play with it. So thank you so much. I hope you like it. I hope it's useful. And if you want to download these and more than 150 templates from the channel, just go to the Patreon page in the description below. If not, just a subscription to the channel is more than enough. Thank you, particularly to my patrons. See you next time.